So, hello everybody. This is Bobby, once again from GamingOnTheRun.com, keeping you up to date with all the latest mobile and handheld gaming. And today, I'm here to show you Epic Citadel, which anybody that was watching uh, Apple's event the other day where they announced the new iPods and the new Apple TV and such may well have seen the guys from Epic Games appearing during that press event and uh, they were showing off a game known as Project Sword which is going to be based on the Unreal 3 engine or the Unreal Engine 3 as I believe it's better called and uh, as you may be aware this is a very advanced game engine uh, it's been used in many many games over the years uh, both of the Bioshock games were built upon the engine, Gears of War was built upon this engine even Mass Effect was built using Unreal Engine 3 and uh, now they're bringing it to the iPhone and uh, as they said they were, they're bringing out a game called Project Sword uh, but they've just released this free app, I mean anybody with an iPhone can head on over to iTunes now and download it, it's called Epic Citadel and I'll just launch it now it is a demo of just what the Unreal Engine 3 can do on the iPhone and it's really quite amazing you can either uh, take a walk around on your own or you can um, start up a guided tour and unfortunately the camera won't quite do it justice but I mean even just from this intro you can, it looks amazing Just give it one second to load up. I mean, it's quite heavy on resources. It takes a little while. Um, but I'll just run it through on the guided tour. Maybe we'll take a little walk around afterwards. Uh, just to show you what it's all about. And uh, just how amazing this engine is. And what it could do for iPhone gaming in the future. I mean, this is something that I never ever thought I would be seeing on my telephone. It's quite amazing. You can either tap an area to walk around, you can swipe to look around, or you can use the more familiar dual thumbsticks here. But I mean, just taking a little look around here, you can see it's pretty impressive stuff. I mean, looking at the shadows and the, all the the rocks and cobbled floor in there and just the whole textures in general the lighting in it it's really some pretty amazing stuff I mean this is obviously just the demo so there's not a whole lot to do but you can just wander around and admire it completely uh, I'm just going to run it through the guided tour here which will give you a bit of a demo of all the different effects you can expect to see a little pixelated on this camera and you look at it on the iPhone screen yourself everything is so crisp there's no jagged edges anywhere at all
up around and even just how smooth it feels when you're running around these environments it's quite amazing but there's one particular part I'd like to show you which is where you first walk out of this big castle like building and out into the open because it's really quite impressive here we are take a look at that Once again, it's something that I never ever thought I would be seeing on a handheld gaming device, let alone on a handheld gaming device which doubles up as a smartphone. It's really quite amazing. And uh, it really just goes to show what is in the future for gaming on the iPhone. I mean, it really looks stunning. And once again, the camera cannot do it justice. But what I would really recommend you do, if you own an iPhone, head on over to iTunes and download Epic Citadel. You'll find it straight away. It won't be a problem. And it's completely free to show you what it's all about. And obviously look forward in the future to Project Sword from Epic Games. It looked just as great being based on the same engine. And of course many, many other developers are going to be coming out with content built upon this same engine. So uh, to really get an idea of what it looks like, you really need to see it for yourself. It's really quite stunning. Uh, so I shall leave it at that. Uh, be sure to come and check us out over at GamingOnTheRun.com with our weekly podcast there also. And um, I shall see you all very, very shortly. And if you use Twitter, come and check us out. Twitter.com forward slash gaming on the run and I'll see you very very soon bye bye for now